Hey y'all, welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's having a good day today. It's a beautiful day. So, I'm off in here in the kitchen this afternoon getting ready for some supper tonight. And I'm wanting to get this dessert stuff done and out of my way and have them sitting over to the side. And this is some good stuff, y'all. This is old time. I want you to watch the video and learn how to make these girls, okay? Y'all learn how. If you don't have fresh peaches, you can use the canned peaches, but you still got to do in your little pot with a big can of the peaches and the syrup in them what I'm doing right now. But what I want you to see is I, I put these peaches up in the freezer this summer, and it's a quart bag, right? And it's a good number of peaches, but y'all, there's no comparison on the fresh peaches, right? And see, I put these up, and they already have the sugar in them. So, I got them out this morning and let them be thawing out while I was doing some other stuff. And I'm just going to take them, and I'm going to dump them in this pot right here. I'm going to get me just a little bit of water and rinse that goodie out. Just a little bit, though, right? See what I'm saying there? I'm going to take that. Get all that goodie out of there. And we fixing to put these on the stove. I'm going to get me a little blob of butter here. And by that, I just mean I'm just getting me some in this tub. Because that's all I need, just a little old blob of it. I want to add to my peaches. You know what I'm saying there? And that's a cereal spoon. Put me some butter in there. Margarine. Whatever. Either one. Don't matter. Put you some butter in there. And I'm going to get me a little bit of uh, cinnamon over here. Just a little bit. I don't want to do it. Just, you know, ain't no measuring. Just kind of barely touch it with it, okay? Because you just want an hint of the cinnamon in there. If you want more, you can put it in there. And we're going to do the same thing with this nutmeg, y'all. Just a hint. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just a little hint of it. Ain't even enough to measure it out of a, a measuring spoon, right? So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to get it over here on the stove. I'm going to stir this up. They're already sweetened with the sugar, right? So I'm going to let them sit there and start cooking on the stove. And I'll walk over there every now and then and give them a little bit of smash, you know. And uh, let them sit there and bubble real easy. And I'll come back after I've got all my stuff over here and show y'all how to do the crust for these fried peach pies. This is some homemade country goodness right here, y'all. you got to give it a try, okay? Like I say, if you want to, I would say this... Uh... Well, you can still, it don't matter how much you want to put, if you want to get one of them big fat cans of the uh, peaches, the sliced peaches um, in the can in the syrup, you can do that. And because there's really no measurements right here in this, okay? Uh, so you're going to take them and you cut them up a little bit in some bites or whatever and throw the syrup and all in there and do exactly what I just did. Throw you some butter in there, a big pinch of cinnamon, a little pinch of nutmeg, right? And get them on the stove and start letting them sit there and bubble and, and press them around with you a trusty vegetable smasher, okay? So I'm going to get these on the stove, get them going, and I'll be back when I get my uh, flour and stuff ready for us to make the crust for these things. Alrighty, so I've cook, been cooking on these peaches and smashing on them with my vegetable smasher for about eight minutes, okay? And y'all seen the, that they were already had the sugar on them and stuff. And when they start cooking, see, it makes a liquid come up on them. Let me turn that down a little bit. There we go, okay? So I want y'all to see, you know, how that is, right? And, you know, as that cools, it's going to thicken a little bit more. But what I'm going to do here, just to show y'all, okay? Let me get this and set it on this. I've still got my burner going over there. What I want to show y'all is this. I've got this coffee cup, and you can't see it, but I've got like half a cup of water in this thing, okay? Half a cup of water, okay? 
And see, I really don't like for my filling to be real thick in them. I'll, there's a, a happy medium in there, but you know, it's not going to hurt if you get, if you make it thick or whatever. You know, you think about fried pies that you bite into that, you know, when you bite them, stuff don't run out of them, you know, or whatever and stuff. I like mine right before, right before it'll run out. Because I still like that. It's because I'm using the fresh peaches, y'all. Okay? But the canned ones are fine, I promise. They work just as good. If you do the little seasoning thing, like I said, okay? And listen, if you don't want cinnamon or nutmeg, you know, either one or whatever in there, you don't have to put it in there. It can just be peaches and sugar and butter, okay? But uh, to the point we're at right now, I have me a half a cup of water here, okay? And I'm just going to take me, because I don't want it to be super thick, a teaspoon here. A teaspoon now. And I've just got it mounded up. Look, I'm just taking it out of there and doing it like that, right? And I'm going to put that teaspoon of cornstarch in there. That's what I'm using, and cornstarch and water, okay? And I'm going to take that and I'm going to stir it up. Let me get a spoon here. Take that, and I'm just going to stir it up and make me a little thin slurry with it. I'm just stirring it up in there. Half a cup of water and a heaping teaspoon of uh, cornstarch. Okay? I've got that done. Now, I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to pour, pour that in there, that half a cup of water and that heaping teaspoon of cornstarch, right? So I'm gonna take it back over here and set it on the fire. And I'm gonna let it start bubbling again. Uh, and stirring it. I'll be stirring it now while I'm doing that, okay? Put this over here. I'm gonna stand here and stir this until it starts bubbling. And when I do, when it starts bubbling, y'all, just stir it for a minute, give that cornstarch time to kinda do its thing in there. And you're going to turn the fire off, and uh, I will take it because I want it to hurry up and cool off a little bit. You don't want to put it in your dough, you know, piping hot in there because it'll melt your dough trying to work with it. So I'm going to take this and pour it out of this pot just because I'm kind of rushed for time. Listen, if you do these peaches ahead of time, which I normally do, but I want you all to be able to see how I do that, right? Um, if you do them ahead of time and then just let them set off to the side then you don't have to transfer them to a bowl or whatever to try to get them to cool off some so uh i'm gonna let this i gotta let it start bubbling it's fixing to start bubbling pretty quick now that was a half a cup of water and a heaping teaspoon of cornstarch it all depends on how thick you want your filling to be, right? But I'm just going to get me a bowl down here that I can transfer it into so it'll cool off a little faster for me. So I can get on with the program and show y'all how to get these fried pies done. Okay, it's bubbling. So I'm going to let it bubble here a second. Okay. all we got to do to it y'all so i'm going to take it i don't know if you can see. well i'll just do it over here okay i'm just going to take it see and it still you know looks kind of thin a little bit but it's because it's hot okay so i'm going to take it and i'm just going to pour it up in this big metal bowl here because that stuff is hot y'all and that would just you know melt your dough instantly uh going into your dough Okay, so let me get this over here out of my way. I'm going to set this off to the side. 
I could set it outside <laughs> where it's a whole lot cooler than it is in here in the house. It'd cool faster. Oh, uh, but I'm gonna show y'all how easy it is to make this dough for your homemade fried pies. And I never measure y'all, so we're gonna try to do this thing with a little measurement type deal. I done took daddy's watch off. I'm gonna take my ring off too, let me see. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do here, I'm just gonna, I got me some measuring cups out. For this, for this size deal, I'm gonna start off y'all with, I've got all purpose flour here, okay? And I'm just gonna take me one, So it ain't gotta be perfect, but this gives you an idea. Two, two cups of all-purpose flour, okay? They're not scraped off the top and all that or everything. Just reach down in there and dip you up and get you, <clears throat> get you a couple cups of all-purpose flour, right? And now we're gonna take, I like a little salt in my dough. So this is a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna take that and just do that. Put me a half a teaspoon in there. I like some salt in my dough because your filling is sweet and then it has the, we're gonna have the icing on top of them. So, you know, they balance each other out with that. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my hands and kind of sift that salt and flour together a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Let's mix together. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take me some just regular old vegetable shortening, y'all. And let's see. For these two cups of flour, I'm going to say, let me try this and see what it looks like for measuring for y'all. Okay. This is a quarter of a cup. All right. So I'm going to add me a quarter of a cup in with that flour. Okay, so now, the next thing I'm going to do, see if I can get y'all a little closer on this. Okay, I'll turn it down here. Okay, all I'm going to do, I've got my blob of a shortening in there, right? So I'm just going to take my hands and I'm going to just start mixing it in there, crumbling it in there, right? Kind of break it up in there a little bit. It don't have to be all perfect, but you want to just kind of take it and do that, right? Get your little shortening ball mixed up in there with your flour and your salt. So, so far we're looking at two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter of a cup of Oh, vegetable shortening in there, okay? Now, we've got that all stirred up together. Now you look at it. It's kind of like that, right? There's some little chunks of flour, of shortening in there and stuff. And chunks on my fingers. But you got to use your hands with this, y'all. Okay, the next thing I'm going to get. I need... Some buttermilk, y'all. I want buttermilk. And y'all, it is hard to find whole buttermilk. Everything is low-fat buttermilk. Well, I'm just telling you, the whole buttermilk works so much better. It just does, okay? All right. Now, I don't know about measuring on this, so we're going to try this, okay? I've got that one-cup deal there. I'm gonna start up, make sure you shake your butter up good and please try to get whole buttermilk. All right, I'm gonna pour this in here and see what that one cup does, y'all, okay? Let me get my hands in it. Stir it around here. Squeeze it. I'm just squeezing it in my fingers, right? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour half of that. I'm going to pour a half a cup. It's a little bit more than a half a cup. But I'm going to do it like that, okay? So, so far we're looking at one and a half cups 
of whole buttermilk in there. And I can tell you right now, that's gonna work. Okay, so one and a half cups of buttermilk. And we fixing to have our dough. And I'm gonna take it out and put it on this board and we are gonna add some more flour to it because we are gonna have to have it really stiff to do this with, okay? But there's our dough mixed up. See, and it's real thin. You can tell it's, you know, it's real squishy, real soft. If I was using self-rising flour and making biscuits, that's the consistency I'd want it at for biscuits. See, it just presses out. Now, I had flour on it, and you could roll it out and then cut your biscuits. But that would be with all-purpose flour. Okay, there's that, y'all. So now, I'm fixing to just take me, let me give me a scoop here. I'm going to take me some flour and put it out here on my board. Let me back up a little bit there, okay? Put it out here on my board. I'm fixing to take this here dough ball. Flip it over there. Now I've got flour on it. I'm going to just fold this in here. Just fold it in. Because we need to make this dough stiff, y'all. It needs to be stiff. You don't want it sticky. So I'm just folding it over, okay? And I'm telling you, this is going to make a good number of fried pies. I'm just pushing that flour in there to it. And making a mess to go with it. But that's all right. Messes are for cleaning up. And Tally Faye makes a mess. I am messy. I'm like a bull in a china shop in here. I'm not good at being gentle. Okay, y'all. See, I'm having to start really pushing on it now. But I still want it. I can tell I want it a little stiffer than that. See, I can squeeze it too easy with my hands. So if I go to rolling it out, it'll stick to this board. And then I try to cut my pies out and they'll be sticking to it and I'll have a another mess on my hands. Okay? I about got it, I think, where I want it. You just gotta, and listen, when you get ready to roll it out, and how you'll know if you've done this enough, if you've got enough flour in there, rather, uh, how you'll know is when you go to rolling it out, you lift up on it there or whatever and see if it's sticking to that board. And if it is, you just add you some more flour and do this right here. Fold it in there. Just keep doing it till it's stiff, okay? Just add that flour. And that's all you gotta do. Let me see what I think there. I think I want just a hair more, y'all. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna sprinkle it like that. Okay, rub it in there, press that down in it, and I'm going to fold that over into it. And I think I got us some fried pie dough here, ready for the makings. Okay. Now. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. See there? We got us some fried pie dough. Ready. All right. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way here. Just a little bit. Where I can work a little better. I gotta keep me some flour out for working with. But I'll show you that in a second. Let me wash my hands off. I got too much flour and shortening on there right now. Okay. Put this good old buttermilk up. Buttermilk is the way to go, y'all. It's just too good in these breads and doughs and whatever, you know. So I tell you what I'm going to do to start with. I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to break it up into some 
like four little balls here or four little sections okay i'm gonna put these three over here out of my way now i'm gonna rake that off we're gonna start over with some a clean board right no chunks on it or nothing there's my flour and rub me some flour on it and now i am fixing to roll this out as thin as i can make it i'm gonna try to make it the size of this board right here that's why i broke it down into four uh smaller balls right little dough sections but i'm gonna take me some flour right now i got me some flour on there and some flour on my rolling pin i'm gonna take it roll it out thin thin y'all i want it thin and if it goes past this board then that's no problem just keep rolling it you want it thin let me back you up a little bit more don't i okay see i'm about to get it the size of that board there but i still want to make sure i got it rolled out thin Okay, let's see. You see, when I pick it up, it doesn't stick to that board, right? So I know I got it good and stiff. Okay, now listen, if you don't have, if you don't have some kind of a cutter or nothing, that doesn't matter. You can do this with a knife, you know, you can cut it out, or you can roll out little separate balls and make your pie dough. And put your filling in there and fold them over and then trim them off and make the little half moon things right but i love i love this silly thing here y'all look at it it goes see that and it cuts them it makes the perfect little size fried pies for me for feeding all these youngins and stuff because they will eat these things up okay but you just do whatever size you want on them, okay? So I'm gonna take this thing, dip it in my flour here. I'm gonna do me six of them, okay? Now I'm gonna pick this up out of my way. Oh, I didn't cut through it as good as I thought I did right there, but get it out of the way okay there's my three little dough things now let me check this stuff out that is still pretty hot y'all I need to taste of it anyway and see but see look how it's kind of thickening up it almost looks like an applesauce to you don't it but see, I still got me some little bites of peaches in there. It's not just squished up to total mush, you know? Look at it still smoking, y'all. I'm gonna have to let it cool. This dough will be just fine sitting here. And I'm gonna get this cooled off. I'm gonna get me some ice in the sink, set it down in there, and stir that, stir it around in that bowl and that ice, and it'll cool it off quickly. And then I'll be getting my grease hot, and we'll start putting some pies together and frying them. I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, that didn't take but a minute. So I got my filling all cooled off now and ready. Ready for me to dip up. And y'all, I got me, it's not going to hold all of it, but I have like a quarter cup thing that I'm going to dip them in to put in these little pies, okay? Um, let me move this rolling pin out of the way for the moment. Okay, I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm going to take this. First off, I'm gonna take it, I've got me a little bowl of water over here. See, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna just go around the edges of this dough and get it wet. Just dab it on there with my fingers. Okay, the edges of my dough are wet. 
Now, I'm gonna take my fill, I got it over here in this bowl, so I'm just gonna take it, and really, I'm just using that as a dipper, y'all. That There's just, you know, you take your filling, I'm gonna put it in there. And that's all I gotta do there, and I'm gonna take this little top and flip it over because that's the side I wet, right? And go around it with my fingers and press it together. Okay, same thing. Let my little circles meet up. Go around it. And that's gonna make sure, ensure that my dough is stuck together. So I'm just gonna get me some flour right here and poke my fingers on it. I'm gonna go around it. The reason I don't wanna do it with a fork is I don't wanna uh, poke a hole in my, because these pies are smaller and you can poke a hole in it so easily. That's why I say you can do the little half moon ones if you want, okay? And try to make sure it's sealed up. It's got to be sealed up. If you don't, when you drop it in that grease, all your filling's going to come out of it, okay? So I'm just getting me some flour on my hands and going around it and pressing it down, making sure it's all good and sealed. Okay? My grease is over there getting hot, y'all. And I've got me like a 10-inch frying pan over there. About, it ain't quite three-quarters full uh, of the grease, but you want them where they're floating, okay? Uh oh, see, I got a little bit of a tear there. I'm gonna try to repair that with some flour. Hopefully, that'll hold it because all it takes, y'all, is one little hole, and you're gonna have them. So don't trip out if it happens, but all your filling will just come rolling out of that hole. It just will. See, it's still not done. I'm gonna try to make me a little gooey dough here with my finger. See if I can put me some on there to seal it up. It just don't want to, so I'm just gonna have to put my flour on it and hope it hope it works, y'all. I'll put that one in there last. Let it sit there a minute. So I'm gonna get me where's my little spatula? Here it is. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all over here real quick while my grease is still heating. Pick it up and bring it. Cause I want you to see how I do this. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. Get us over here. Get us up close and personal, right? Okay. There's my skillet now. That grease feels pretty hot, y'all. I'm gonna turn it down to a medium because if you get your grease too hot, it'll it'll burn them before you can get anything done. But I'm gonna just take my little spatula here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm just gonna take this little spatula and pick it up from there. And there's my fried pie, okay? There it goes. And see, I'm just taking my little spatula, picking them up. And putting it in there. Okay, y'all, here's the one with the hole. We'll find out if all the filling's gonna come flying out of it. But I got to turn that grease down a little bit. You want it hot, but you don't want it just cranked up hot, 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 right? I gotta get me a couple of forks out of here. I do better trying to handle them with forks. Moving them around in there, seeing they're floating. Because here in a second, I'm going to have to uh, flip them over. But just let them cook, okay? They're going to be good, y'all. This is some good stuff. Okay, now they're frying a little bit easier. I backed that fire off. Let me turn it back up just a hair. And you have to play with it a little bit. You'll figure out, you know, if it's cooking them too fast and burn them. You see? Look at that. And you can see how deep my grease is. See, I got that much. And this is a 10-inch 
cast iron. And see in the greases to right there, like half of that fork prong, about half that deep right there, okay? I hear that feeling trying to sneak out on me. You have to be gentle with them, but if they're sealed up, they'll do you good. And this is going to make a bunch, y'all. I'll probably fry pies until I get tired of it. And I'll put my uh, extra filling up in a bowl and just put it in the refrigerator. And my extra dough, I'll put it in some cellophane or in a Ziploc baggie. And um, make some more later. Or make me some dumplings out of it. Because that's how you make your dumpling dough. Okay. There they are, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Flip it over. And there ain't no playing around once you start doing this, right? You got to stay on it. So, I'm fixing to, just because it's going to take me a minute to roll my other little pies out, I'm going to turn that off for a second. And then when I get them ready and sealed together, when I turn that fire back on, it'll almost be ready for me to just drop them in there. It won't take it but a minute. And I'll drop them back in there. And I'll just keep doing that over and over and over until I get me a pan of these fried up. And then I'll show y'all how to do the um, drizzle for them. Okay? So I'm fixing to get back over here and do exactly what I just showed y'all. I'm going to roll them out, cut out my little circles, wet the edges, fill them up with my filling, and put the, flip that other wet top over it and pinch them off and get them and uh, I, I just have them on my little board right and i just get that little spatula and come over here and pick them up and drop them in there all right i'll be back in a little while when i get me a pan of these boogers fried up fried peach pies y'all made from scratch all the way they're delicious now y'all what i did do a while ago was I got sidetracked somehow on using my little cutter thing that I wanted, and I wanted to show y'all this, okay? Um, let me get one off of here. See, that little thing makes, um, let me show you. See, look, that little cutter does that for him. So I press it on that side, and then I press it on that side. And we're going to see how that does, because that's what that thing's for, duh. I just got sidetracked, y'all, and, and uh, I don't know, just lost my train of thought, I guess, blabber jawing with y'all. And anyway, that's what that little bugger's for, is to press them together for you. I don't have to use my fingers. I was able to get four out this time. I'm gonna see if I can get them in there. I may be, I may be doing too many, I don't know. Let me see. Nah, I can get it in there. Okay, now I got my grease turned down. But duh, that's what I was supposed to do with that. That little, I just kept dipping it in my flour, y'all. And then, you know, you put it over the top of them like this. And then you, then you press this little thing down right here. And it, see, it pinches them together. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all that that I ended up doing that with them. And it looks like it's doing absolutely perfect, y'all. So if it seals them like that, then I ain't even got to try to worry about doing them with my finger. Look at that, y'all. Look at that golden, beautiful puffiness, knowing that that peach filling is inside of there. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Buzz is going to love me tonight, and probably the kids, too. If I let them know, Mama's been making... Uh, homemade fried peach pies. I promise you, my boy will be down here. He will be down here for Mama to give him some fried pies. Let him eat on fried pies, especially if it's peach. That's his favorite. Oh, I just wanted to show y'all that for a minute. That's another round of them. They're fixing to be ready, so I'm going to take them up and keep loading my tray. Alrighty, y'all. That took me all of 18 minutes to 
get those little pies done exactly like I showed you. And I ended up, I quit frying them, y'all. Uh, this big old huge cookie sheet is enough. Let me show them to you up close. Make sure it ain't hot. Yeah, I can handle it. But I want y'all to look at, th look at that. Is that not beautiful? Look, I made a got a couple half moon ones there where I came to the end of my dough and rather than trying to cut it out, I just rolled it out and just flipped it over and trimmed it. But there is our beautiful pies, y'all. And I want to show you the last thing we're going to do to them. I'm going to set it right here. Hopefully, I can show you like that. Okay. Now, what I've done is I have, this is just a little old, I've got another bag, but look, I've just got that much powdered sugar in this bag. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to just dump it in this little bowl, y'all, okay? Dump it in that little bowl. And I want y'all to know that you do not add. Anybody that does this will tell you, you know, you do not add very much water to it. I'm going to scoot a couple of these over so I can let y'all see a little closer how it's done. Okay, see, I just got me some water in this thing, so I'm going to take this spoon... And this is just a long handle teaspoon, y'all. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna add me some and I'm gonna stir it, okay? And you do this just a little bit at a time because if you add too much, it'll be running on you right quick. Now see there, it's already almost, all, look at that. Look at that, it's almost, I tell you what, I'll, I say it is. With just those two teaspoons of water in there and that's all I needed was that right there I tell you what I'm gonna add me I mean just a I mean I'm just gonna dip it like that and do that okay because I want it to run off of my spoon a little bit easier there we go perfect now it's pouring see now it'll pour off of there for me that's all I had to do y'all to put your glaze on there your little dribble of glaze on it and so i'm just gonna take it and get my spoon and i'm just gonna go over them like this let it just run off of your spoon Because all you're really wanting is just a little old, you know, you just want just a little hint of this, of this sugar on it, this powdered sugar glaze. That helps it just right with your dough and your filling. It makes them look pretty. Don't take a lot. See? Just a little dabble on there. Oh, I got one left and scraping the bottom, but it'll be enough. It'll work out perfect. I can get it out of there. And there we go, y'all. Look at that. Are those not pretty? Mm-mm-mm. Look at that, y'all. That is your homemade fried peach pies from total scratch, y'all. Even the peaches. So, y'all have got to try this. It's that easy, y'all. 
I want y'all to do this so bad, and I want you to let me know how they turned out. Y'all comment to me a lot about things and stuff, you know, about, mm, that looks good, and, and, you know, I want to try that and this and that and everything. I want you to try it and tell me how it come out for you. And then you can really ask me some questions, right? You know, you can be like, well, when I did this, it did that, or, you know, or whatever, and I can help you along the way with it. But if you watch this video, um, you can make fried peach pies. And you will be the hit of the place. The hit of the kitchen. So, y'all give this a try. And uh, serve your family up and friends some uh, delicious homemade fried peach pies from scratch. I love you guys. And y'all have a great evening. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.